Hi, I'm Max Wardell from the Overhead Athletic Institute. We wanted to come at you guys today with a little video on joint recovery supplements and some things that you should consider if, hey, I'm trying to prolong the health of my joints. I'm already having a little bit of arthritic degeneration, a little bit of joint-related pain, but I want to continue to kind of play and remain healthy and keep my joints healthy as long as I can, maybe put off a potential surgery, resurfacing procedure, something like that. So we're going to talk about kind of four different supplements. We have three different uh, brands here, but really what we know is most important is making sure you're moving the right way, making sure you have a proper nutrition plan, you're hydrated. These things are going to be on the first tier of our approach. Let's get things that aren't moving well, moving better. Let's get you stronger where you need to be strong so you're more stable if you're unstable. And let's, let's fix your movement deficiencies, your functional limitations, your movement related problems. And then we're gonna talk about, okay, let's make sure that we're eating a well-balanced diet, not too many preservatives, these sorts of things, inflammatory foods, and then also making sure you're hydrated. And we're actually writing a book right now that we're gonna be coming out with soon that's gonna you know, work together with our certification programs that we're creating. And we have an individual, Mike Molesky, who's gonna be writing a couple of chapters for us on sports nutrition and analyzing nutrition for yourself as an athlete or for your athletes and kind of looking at a few intricacies and and putting together more of a global picture of what a proper nutrition plan looks like and how to maintain a proper nutrition plan throughout the course of a season, off season, and what to do kind of when you're injured or when you're recovering from an injury. But from the perspective of what can we do, we're having some movement related issues here. Collagen, collagen peptides, and this is actually Phi Naturals brand, but collagen peptides have been something that we've looked at in recent research studies. And there's actually two randomized controlled trials, six months, 24 weeks, in fact, um, where they actually supplemented with collagen peptides. And what we found is that compared to the placebo group, great improvements in perceptions of pain, perceptions of how my joints feel, functional mobility, that sort of thing. When we looked back, when we look at three months, maybe not such a big difference, but that prolonged um, supplementation with collagen peptides has shown to be effective in two randomized controlled trials that lasted 24 weeks. So some good information coming out on collagen peptides, but like with all these supplements, you wanna make sure you're getting a good brand and a good supplement that's not gonna have a bunch of fillers in it that actually has what it says it has in it. And that's a problem in the supplement industry is getting things with fillers, hard metals, that sort of thing. So you wanna make sure that you're looking either national safe for sport, something like that. But this is a, a great option for you. And the neat thing about this is it actually contains a few other um, substances in it that we'll talk about in a second here. But understand with joint recovery supplements that some people benefit a lot from a joint recovery supplement. Some people don't seem to benefit as much. And it depends on the grade of degeneration that you have in your joints. The more degenerated your joints are, the less you're probably going to benefit from something like this. But if you're at a point where, hey, I'm just starting to get a little pain, maybe I have some mild degeneration, these may be a great option that may assist in prolonging the integrity and health of your joint. So collagen peptides would definitely be on the list following proper nutrition, following a proper movement um, strategy protocol where you're kind of working on your mobility, working on flexibility, working on your strength where you need it and making sure you're hydrated. But in this uh, supplement, we actually have glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate, which is what we have here in this thorn supplement. So glucosamine, what probably, if not um, the most popular joint recovery supplement. And we look at glucosamine, we're looking at something that's actually a derivative of cartilage or cartilaginous tissue. And when we look at these supplements, we're not really expecting cartilage to regrow in the body. Number one, it's hard to assess bioavailability of these substances, but when we talk about cartilage, it's very difficult 
to even in a petri dish regrow cartilage from scratch. So we're looking more for anti-inflammatory effects um, and maybe some other nerve related uh, effects. But, but with that said, we don't know long term what we can potentially see. There's not any studies that look at anything longitudinally four or five years out. But glucosamine sulfate probably um, the most researched. And what the research kind of says is there's certain individuals that will benefit really um, greatly from this supplement. And there's other individuals that seem to have uh, negligible um, benefits. You got to be careful if you're allergic to uh, seafood because a lot of times they take the glucosamine from a shellfish product. But this also has chondroitin sulfate, which is also contained, like I said, in that um, supplement there, the collagen supplement. And that it's actually from a bovine source, it says right on here. But chondroitin, once again, shown to have potentially some anti-inflammatory effects. And similar to the glucosamine, it appears that we take this supplement and over the course of time, you know, we may have some improvements in how we subjectively feel, decreases in pain and that sort of thing. But once again, we're not trying to actually rebuild the collagen with these things. I'd be interested to see what the research says in future years as for uh, collagen supplementation. But these may be something that you add to an already existing quality program. The other thing here is omega-3 fatty acids. So when we look at omega-3 fatty acids, they come from fish oils predominantly, but we also have omega-6 fatty acids, which are gonna come from nuts and other, other um, beans and things like that, legumes. So omega-3s, omega-6s, they're gonna be used in creating uh, cell membranes, um, epithelial cells, that sort of thing. And they're very important because omega-3s are anti-inflammatory, omega-6 are pro-inflammatory, and you need a good balance of it. You need some inflammation, but you also need some anti-inflammatory properties as well. If you move too far to the anti-inflammatory uh, direction, you may have a problem if you're healthy, healthy if you're uh, moved too far, especially towards the pro-inflammation direction, pro-inflammatory direction, you're gonna have some problems as well. Omega-3s we find in the overwhelming majority of individuals are deficient. And what we mean is we look at a ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. Omega-6 should have maybe a two to one, three to one, four to one ratio, something in that nature. Some people say one to one ratio to omega-3s, meaning I have you know, between one and four times as much omega-6 to omega-3. And when we test individuals in the general population, even when, we even when we assess athletes, like when we look at studies that are included um, in the CSS CISSN book, which is the International Society of Sports Nutrition textbook, what we'll see is that when we look at these, these uh, substances, sometimes we see a 40 to 1, 50 to 1, 30 to 1 ratio, meaning 30 or 40 times as much omega-6 to omega-3. And omega-6 is anti-inflammatory in nature. So taking an omega-3 and supplementing it into your diet can be very effective, especially considering that a lot of the foods we eat, we don't even realize it, but they contain omega-6 fatty acids because omega-6 fatty acids are very shelf stable, whereas omega-3 fatty acids are not so shelf stable. So we, we end up taking in a lot more omega-6 in our diets than omega-3s. So from a joint perspective, we're gonna look at and consider maybe these three supplements. There's other things out there um, that can be considered uh, if you're having joint-related pain and you're looking for something to maybe uh, put off a surgery. But in general, these are the ones that have the most research that are most supported. And in fact, Omega-3 fatty acids, I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's probably, out of all supplements, omega-3 fatty acids have had more research done on them because supplementation of omega-3 fatty acids has been shown to improve blood pressure, um, various cardiac measures. It's been shown to improve brain health, um, cognitive function, especially in individuals that had uh, TBI that have had um, PTSD, these sorts of things. So there's a lot of research on um, omega-3 fatty acids, but largely because we're so deficient in it, and it's something that 
it seems that our brain has developed to um, require and that if you take the brain and dehydrate the brain down to just its dry weight without water, what we find is that about a third of that dry weight is actually omega-3 fatty acids. So it's very important for cognitive function, for the act it's an actual constituent element of the brain. So a lot of research on omega-3s, but if you're having joint related pain, I'd start there and I'd look at some collagen supplementation, and I'd, I'd also think about glucosamine and chondroitin as they have a great deal of research on them. But these are just things to think about. None of these things are gonna fix a movement problem. None of these things are gonna fix a mechanical problem in your joint, and none of these things are going to fix degenerative uh, problems in your joint, but they may be able to assist in prolonging the healthier joint um, for upcoming years. So just some things to think about. Keep your eye out for our book when it's going to come out. Probably a year and a half is the, the estimate. Books are a lot of work. But we have a guy who's a, a phenomenal expert um, in the field that's going to be going into a lot more depth than I ever could on nutrition and pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory diets as well as hydration and supplementation. So keep your eye out for that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next one.